Hey everybody, this is Paul Feldman from Insurance Newsnet, and I am in Coach Pete Deruda's office today from Capital Financial Advisory Group. I am so impressed with this man's office, and I think everybody needs to pay attention <laughs> to what we're about to show you, because presentation of your office is more important than almost anybody thinks. Not only is it a cool office with a lot of eye candy, but there is practicality that you need to be using in your business. We're in front of your financial <laughs> fill-up station here. Yeah. Well, we do a radio show every single week. We do a couple of them. One's called Financial Safari, and one is America's 401k show. And on both of them, we talk about ways to get a yearly check delivered to your mailbox each and every year. We call it the financial fill-up strategy, and we play the little sounder. When you used to go get gas back in the day, you'd pull up to the filling station, you'd, you'd run over the little hose on the ground, and we'd go ding, ding. Ding, ding. So we play the ding, ding on the show, and then people will come off the elevator, which is right over there. They'll come off the elevator, they'll look right over here, and they'll say financial fill-up. And we have the uh, sweep well at night harp right here. So we play a harp sound every time we, we talk about people being all set. And somebody asked if I could play the harp. That's a great solo you just had. That's better than I could do. My new book that's getting ready to come out, if you've written a book, very important to memorialize it more than just handing books out, turn it into art. So this is a piece of canvas art that has the book on it. So yeah, because a book can just sit on a shelf and yeah. you never see it, now display it. You have great artwork on the on yeah. the walls, all these cool movies, yeah. but in between, you've got so much content. Content is the king of all strategies because you can take this, make awesome brochures for it, give handouts that people can take with them, memorialize, or you can just stick it online. It, there's so many different ways you can use this over and over for years and years. This is uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory in the background. I want you to just remember that for later on in the tour. People think in different ways. Some people think in art and pictures, and other people think in color. You have to identify what kind of personality your potential prospect has. And you, you have clients sitting right yeah, here, yeah, and they're yeah. seeing this, they and, and you're pre-programming yeah. them. Yep. You, you've and, been on and, media so much, yeah. and it's easy to have that just drop off, yep. but to keep displaying it gives you credibility. One of the biggest things, and it's from Giveaway Wise, and one of the biggest things we've given away ever is this. It's a simple notebook. It's blank pages in here. We used to joke and call it everything your broker told you about the uh, financial products you're in with the fees and whether it's afraid to tell you, and they're like all this kind of stuff. This is an awesome... It's been called the world's largest man cave, so I don't know if yes. that's good or bad, but I like it. Tell me about this poster. Is this an eye stopper? Not one person ever comes in here and does not look at this. I know it's a big double negative here, but does not look at at least one of these. And stay, not by just gandering at it, but they come in here and they look and they're, and they're talking to their spouse about it. And they're, they're un, they don't believe it sometimes. Yeah. Like they're, they're in disbelief that certain people on here did not manage their money right or did not have a plan set up. There's so much hustle in this office. I feel it off the walls. Pete, let's go over to your office because this is, this is where the magic happens. Let's go to the office. All right. Yes, Nobody has a crystal ball in their financial future, but... <laughs> that battery's the batteries aren't working he on that may. one. <laughs> this is the office, and I've got some Final Four chairs from, from tournaments in the past. Talking points. So you have a client come in your office, you don't know what's, what is going to excite them. And you've got a lot of different things. You've got scars here. Yep. You've got a whole cigar rack. You, you've got all these pillows, sporting memorabilia, movie memorabilia. This is how you build rapport with yep. people. There's a lot of conversational topics here. Hey, this is a conference room that has a lot of value for a financial advisor. Yeah. You, you don't just come in here, I mean, it, you kind of get a preview of what you're going to get, but you don't know what it is. And, they, and, he, and he fills it out, you know, the red money, the yellow money, the green money, which you have the light out in the, in the lobby. So there's a lot of things that tie in. in Red, green, yellow, room. right? The more simpler you can keep a complex topic, the more they're going to want to come see you to have it explained the right way. Mm -hmm. Pete, why don't you show me some of your content library? Sure. Because your content library was pretty darn impressive. Hey, you still rolling? Yeah. Let's take, let's, while we're down here, let's show them the wine bar. Okay. Like, okay. what does this have to do with anything? Nothing. Come on, let's see. I have a lot of clients that I get along really good with. So they'll come in for the review, and after the review, we'll go have a bottle of wine. And I've, uh, we'll, we'll put the pictures on here, but I've got like five different bottles of wine that have my picture on it that I've, that I've made over the years. Good Napa quality wine, really good wine. Sitting here and I unwind, unwind. So 
it's, it's good. Again, it's, it's uh, not everyone's going to want to drink wine, but we always send them home with a bottle and they can drink the bottle with me if they want. Pete is a very successful financial advisor, but he wouldn't be as successful if he didn't bring other people in. How did you get into this? How did he broke you? How did he broke you in? It's, it's a very good story. So, so I've been with uh, Coach for about six years now, uh, and that has been an absolutely fantastic journey. Uh, when I came here, I knew very little of the financial world. It was all live production. Oftentimes, I go into advisors' office and they don't have content. You happen to have maybe too much content. <laughs> The, the key po point of this yep. is repurposing content. Yeah. If you are selling something uh, with a client, you've got a sales presentation that can be converted into a book. Get it transcribed. Yeah. Package it. You can package it multiple different ways. It, content shouldn't be just one thing. Right. Like, you need to find seven different ways of using that same piece of content, at least. Well, if you're doing a radio show, have it transcribed, number one, and then have it turned into a video and have it posted on different social media. If you're doing any type of presentation, record yourself. Yeah. Transcribe it. You've got content there. Here's what you don't want to do is put a date yeah. on something, because we ended up with, what, a couple thousand? Uh, a couple. When 2019 double. struck, the 2018 Social Security and Retirement Tax Update book was no longer any good. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really important thing. This is like presentation of a policy. It's like $20, but it's the best 20 you ever spent. You can get your own logo on here. So on our show every now and then, or if I'm running into someone in the community, they say, well, do you have a business card? No, I don't have a business card, but I give out the golden ticket. It's a $1,000 value, and it is a basically no-cost consultation. You gotta spend the money on this. This is yeah. your image. It's gotta That's be what this is. This yeah. is your. This is Pete's image, but you gotta have your image, and you better make sure it looks good. So Pete, let's talk about some marketing that you do. Let's go look at your. Sure. Let's go look at your TV studio. Let's go to TV studio. So this is the studio. Wow. Yeah, man. This is a. Uh, it took a year to build this out, but this is five over five thousand square feet of like. We have three exclusive TV studios in here. This is our big one. This yeah. Is big, this is I a big like, show. I really feel it. like I'm on Sports Center here. <laughs> I could be, a, you know, like yeah. a real newscaster, and it's the big show. Your studio is. Uh, one of the most impressive that I've ever seen. It is the most impressive I've ever seen from any financial advisor ever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to have the big studio, the big no. setup. You can just put a TV behind you. Yeah. You, you can just have a nice backdrop yeah. behind you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you don't have to overdo it. We've yeah. overdone it here, but I mean, you, 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 you kind of went all out here, Pete. Yeah, yeah, we got a bunch of cameras here. We have a big camera here that's filming us on the jib, so we can't see the jib, but take my advice. Uh, Jose, make it go up and down so you can see it's on a jib. See, there it is. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> you want to be everywhere you can yeah. be as yeah. often as you can. Be all and, you can and be. And you've done a lot of that. Yeah. And that's why this guy's writing this much business. He only has three advisors in his office yeah. and did $200 million this year. The secret of media is to not over-educate, more entertain, and tell stories, and then you have people wanting to find out more information. Yeah. If you, you over-educate, they give them all the information they need, they don't need you anymore. Yeah. So be needed. And be successful. Talk Thank to you Coach. so much. TalkToCoach.com if you have a question for me. TalkToCoach.com. Thank you.